How do peeps and welcome to a quick running shoe review on the Adidas Adizero Adios Pro Freeze. Ah, oh, that's a mouthful, isn't it? There they are. Straight out of the box, maybe straight on my feet, and then straight out onto the street to go pound some pavements. Uh, I got these as part of a refund from uh, some Nikes that I had. Uh, the Nikes uh, upper came away from the outsole, so I sent them back, got a refund, and decided to try something different after reading the reviews for these. They do feel quite light. Um, they've got quite a good amount of grip on the bottom. They do feel quite grippy, as you can hear there. They've got the carbon plate that's uh, exposed carbon carbon rods, not 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 a uh, solid plate this time. Uh, the form feels quite bouncy and quite responsive. I've not had on my feet yet, though. I must say, you can still see the tag there. They come in a, a variation of colorways. I picked these because these are the only ones left in my size. I got from uh, sportshoes.com. So, I'll get them on my feet, get out on a run, and give the verdict. There is a bit of padding in the heel there, doesn't look much. There's this little uh, super duper thing that's at the back of the, uh, back of the heel that you can turn down. Yep, yeah, so these uh, size nine, I think they're about um, about 120 pounds, something like that. They were originally, I think it's about 250 quid uh, for the original retail price. So I got them on the summer sale at sportshoes.com. So that's the Adidas Adizero Adios Pro 3. And that is a big mouthful for me. To our peeps. How do peeps? So I'm around five miles, well, just over five miles into running my new running shoes. Adidas, 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 Pro Freight. So they are quite a, uh, an aggressive shoe. Uh, what do I mean by aggressive? Uh, very uh, forward facing. They've got like a lift at the toe. Um, for anyone who put some faster mileage down. They're not as soft as the uh, vapor flies. A new balance and the ASIC gels they are quite quite a hard uh, hard shoe however but with that stiffness you also get the energy return and it's actually not distributed too bad between uh, your forefoot And your legs if you know what I mean. Just doing a bit of an incline. There is some uh, heel roping on my left heel. The laces a little bit too short as well I've found. But they are light and uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'll do a more comprehensive in depth review once I get home. All right, catch us there. How do we creep some around? Seven mile in now. Um, coming up to me. Uh, Fall down section of the run soon. Uh, ooh, decent show so far. I know it's only the first run, but uh, not a bad fast show. A race day shoe, maybe, 
I'm going to use this for the Scabber 10K. The only thing I'm concerned about is that uh, that aggressive uh, tour box. It took a while to find uh, my sweet spot in this shoe as well. Uh, took around three miles to get into a rhythm. My sweet spot is between the, uh, the four foot the toes and the uh, and the mid foot, just in that area where the plantar fascia is. Not a good area to be in, really. But however. That's where it felt most comfortable for me. <laughs> Got around two miles, or one and a bit miles left to go. I've uh, held a threshold pace for most of this run, which is around 650 minute miles. Going down for the uh, crossover roads. <clears throat> right, leave it there for now.